Whether you're working as a student, teacher, or administrator, it's very important to develop a system for organizing your files and folders. In this tutorial, I'll show you ways to establish infrastructure for Google Drive file sharing on the district and school level. I'll also talk about the importance of using naming conventions, as well as how to create templates for others to use. In order to streamline sharing for your organization, I believe it's best to create one user who uploads all of the content into one Drive folder. They will then share this folder as a view-only folder to all of the district and school employees. This method makes it very simple to maintain organization when many teachers are accessing the same files. So let me show you how this would look in a district setting. So I have this master's project root level folder which is a resource guide for how to use Google Apps for Education and say I wanted to share this among the whole district. The way I would do that is I would click on the home folder and over here I would select in the drop down menu share and select share and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to share with a link instead of actually sharing the whole folder. So I've selected anyone with the link can view and I've copied the link into um, a browser page. And now I'm going to log in from the teacher side of it to show you. So as a teacher you would just select the link and go to that page to view the Google Drive folder that's been shared from the administrator and you'll see it right here. You want to go up here and click um, Add to Drive and that will open up a copy of it so you can see where it shows up in your Drive account. Now I should note that even though this is showing up in under My Drive this is actually still a folder that belongs to the account that created it. So since these are shared as view only you won't be able to actually go in and edit any of the files. You'll just need to make a copy of them so that you can edit them for yourself. So an example of how to do this would be if I wanted some tracking sheets for my students. Well, since they're shared by the organization, I can go in and find where the tracking sheets live. and They live here in Google Sheets in the resources folder and say I want to have a sheet for my students to track their own work. I go in here for students self tracking and I want to track their progress. So what I'll do is in order to make a copy of this for myself so I can use it I'll just right click and select make a copy and you'll see that when I make a copy it's not created in this folder. I can't create files in this folder because I don't own this folder and I don't have editing privileges. You'll see that this um, progress chart was created in My Drive. So if you go back to the top here and select My Drive and I'll click refresh. Sometimes it takes it a second to make a copy. Now you'll see that the copy of the student progress chart that I made is in my drive now. So in order to edit this now and share it back and forth with other teachers, I could go in and put this into a different folder. Say I'll put this into my reading trackers folder because I have some tracking sheets that I want to use for my class. Now if we open this, you'll see I have a couple tracking sheets in there. So if other teachers in my grade say I'm a fourth grade teacher and I want to use this with all the other fourth grade teachers in my class or in my school, I would just go to the reading tracker spreadsheet and select share. And then you could type the names of all the other teachers who need to access it here and allow them to edit. That way you're basically just taking a template from the organizational folder and you're using that and making a copy 
to make it your own. I believe it's best to use this method because you'll find that if you just allow everyone to create and share all their own files and folders, you'll see that after a year or two, your drive will get really bogged down with a bunch of random individual files and folders, and the more you create, the harder it is to find what you need to use when you need to use it. So if you have one person create the folder hierarchy and then share it with the rest of the organization, you'll find that it's going to save you a lot of time in digging through your drive folders. If you're interested in seeing a sample of how a folder hierarchy could look, there is a copy of this. It lives in the Masters Project under Drive. In the Resources folder, there is a sample file hierarchy for the school or district. And if you click in here, you can see there's some California standards, there's good lesson plans, um, student tracking templates, student worksheets. So my idea for this is if you needed to have some, some good professional development or if you wanted to have training for your teachers, you could very, very easily set this up and um, have every teacher, say you have a professional development day, you can have every teacher type in their best number one lesson plan, their most favorite lesson plan, have them type it into a Google Docs format. And then, either before the training day or on the training day, they can email a, a copy of that lesson as an attachment to the IT person who is in charge of uploading um, content to the Google Drive. So they have all the teachers email their lesson plan and then the IT guy can upload all of the lesson plans, say, into the good lesson planned home folder. And then you'll see here, this is just third through sixth grade lesson plans. But you'll see here, they can put them in there. And then these will automatically pop up into all of the teachers who can view this folder. This will pop up into their folder. And they can instantly see right in front of their eyes just how fast and how easy Google Drive can be used to build a very comprehensive toolbox of lesson plans, teacher resources, uh, tracking templates, and all kinds of things that you can use to help enhance elementary education. So I've talked about file organization for the district and school level as well as how to make templates for other teachers and administrators to use. The last thing I want to talk about is um, naming conventions for your Google Drive files. It's really important as an organization and as a, as a district that you take some time to think about how you want to name your files and folders once they come in to the Google Drive account. There's many different ways that you can do this, and it's kind of unique to your school and your needs, but I just wanted to present an idea or two for how you might go about doing this. Say, for instance, you have a folder full of good lesson plans, and you want to figure out, you know, without having to look at every single one of them, maybe you just want to search for a specific lesson plan that you need. So in our Google Drive folder, in the resources folder there's a sample file hierarchy for the school or district and you can go in here to lesson plans and I have them grouped in here under categories for the school subjects but what you may want to do is for instance um, if you have this is one that's games for review but I'm just gonna go ahead and pretend that it's a lesson plan for fourth grade so maybe this is reading and language arts you could very easily rename these files to say language arts RL 5.1.2 and then if any teacher in the district is looking for a lesson plan that encompasses that standard they could just search in the search box 5.1.2 and boom this would pop up right there language arts reading language arts 5.1.2 so as you can see 
if you take the time to really think about how you want to name your files and folders, you'll have a, a very easy time sharing these with teachers and administrators so that they can use all of the resources at their disposal instead of having to create all new content every single lesson they can kind of go based off what other teachers have done and what other teachers have developed so that they don't have to necessarily reinvent the wheel every lesson so these are just a few tips that I would use for organizational file sharing using Google Drive. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to get back to all of them. Thanks and have a nice day.